Before you get to work, we need to talk. Yes, ma'am. Have a seat. You've been late the past five days. What's going on? Is everything okay? What's going on? It seems like you've been distracted a lot lately. Do you need some time off? No, please don't. I can't afford to take any time off. I do have a lot going on, one thing after another, but I promise, boss, I'll do better. You know, you can talk to me. I am your boss, but I'm also your sister. And we all are dealing with something. Sure. Absolutely. I don't want to fight any more fights. My bank account is overdrawn. My rent is late. I got to pay late fees. I don't start lying to my girlfriends. All just to keep a man that hits me. And I tell myself to leave and why. And when I make up my mind to do it, I I see him and I melt and I just fall in love all over again. Yeah, that's not love, baby. For a man to hit you, that's not love. But I understand life is life and we all go through our challenges. My husband, he's all right. He's a strong lawyer, but he's dealing with his own mental issues. He's starting to win our marriage. You know, you know I'm there for him, but I'm starting to feel like his mama. I'm strong. I've always had to be a strong woman. Don't you let your guard down. You know, at times I, I want to let my guard down. You know, I want to feel free. I want to scream, I want to smile, I want to smoke and have a drink. (laughs) I want to laugh again, you know? Because when all said and done, this is nothing. Especially when you're fighting to feel free on the inside. But then you got to face the world. But on the outside, you got to smile. It's tough for everybody. But know your worth, baby. You gotta know your worth. Okay. All right? Ooh, sound like you need to meet my girlfriends. Mm-hmm. They'll look crazy, mm-hmm. but they'll make you laugh. Yeah. yeah. You should hang out with us sometime. Mm, okay. Okay. I need you to hang out and get these reports done. Okay? By noon. All right? Let's get it together, babe. Ooh, got it. All right? Yes, ma'am. Take care of yourself. Thank you, boss. All right. huge favor. Please. Can you loan me some money um, to next month? I I didn't pay my rent and I promise I'll pay you back as soon as I get my income tax check. Sam, rent? Please, I really need this. Really? It's the 20th of the month. Your rent was due on the 1st. And I know, that's it. I didn't pay it on the first. I thought some money was going to come through, and it didn't. Please, and I really need this. I promise I will pay you back with interest. You know what, girl? This will be my last loan. Last loan. And this time, with interest. Thank you so much. Thank you. I promise. I promise I'm going to pay you back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay Sam. Bye-bye.
Miss Nova. Um, can you reach me my appointment book, please? If I can get this two o'clock open. Maria! Girl, how you been? Hi. Hey, Shrink. Um, very good, thank you. But I'm here with my girlfriend, Teresa. Listen, that's really good. And I hope your family's been good. Yeah? Times like this, it is very important to make peace. Okay? And in the meantime, in between time, if you need anything, you know I got you. Thank you. No problem. As a matter of fact, I'm traveling to my hometown and I'm going to find my father. Maria, that's great, right? Listen, I want to know how that goes. Keep in touch. I'll see you soon. I really enjoy talking to you. Thanks. I was feeling so down after my husband left me for a younger woman. I was just crushed. I was feeling bad, just hurting inside. Never thought laugh again with him. another man. <laughs> well, it's okay. Just remember, you're enough. You always have been, and you always will be. What's important, you knowing that. I actually feel good with you. You know, just talking to you. <laughs> I feel like I can be myself. You know, I don't have to pretend. With him, I had to pretend. Nothing I did was good enough for him. Nothing. He would say ugly things like, red doesn't look good on you. Why did you say that? It could be better. Why did you do that? took it. I took it. I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did is never enough for him. You're enough. You're enough. Today, I saw Maria, who looks to be doing very well. I also saw Teresa. You know, I actually saw Teresa today, and... Damn. She had on, she had on these little... These little blue jeans, you know what I mean? <laughs>
<laughs> One of you got a little, got a little something on your nose. <laughs> you know, she was kind of coming on to me a little bit, like uh, like I was, <laughs> you know. And I was like, Teresa, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Don't. No, Teresa. No. You know, she got her problems. You know, I, hold on. What, what, what'd you say, Teresa? <laughs> you say you, what I'm doing? Oh, sh nothing, girl. Thinking <laughs> about drinking. <laughs> oh, nothing. I, I was, I was thinking about you too. I'm, I'm just, I'm just pouring a sip. You ain't got a trip. <laughs> Teresa, what'd you say? What you got on? <laughs> I'll be right over. <laughs> yeah, uh, <clears throat> Dr. Victor Harris, the more you pay, the more I listen. How can I help you? So, I just want you to know I'm really excited to be out with you today. Um, it has been a little while since I've been on a date, so mm -hmm. I just, so I was really hoping I could ask you some questions to start with. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yeah? Yeah. Whew. Okay, awesome. I promise it's not that much. It's basic stuff. It's like 20 questions. It shouldn't take that long. Hello. Hello. Welcome Hello. to Spice House. Hi. My name is Tia. I'll be your server for this evening. Could I set you guys off with something to drink? Um, yeah, sure. Um, Pam, go ahead. Actually, do you mind coming back in a few minutes? Sure. Would you guys like to try appetizers while you wait? Sure. Yeah. yeah. yeah um, um, egg rolls? Sounds good. I bring them right up. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Questions? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, what is your full legal name? Uh, Thomas James Reynolds. Thomas James, and that's R E Y N O L D S. That's me. And that's the same name on your driver's license, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> um, how long have you lived at your current address? Um, hmm. uh, I'd say about two years, give or take a month. Okay. That is what I like to hear. Thank you. Um, what's your annual income? Do you, you really need to know that? Um, I think it would help me verify that you are who you say you are, so. Well, how about this? Um, ask me all the questions that you have, and if I can answer them, I'll answer them. Okay, fair enough. Number four, mm -hmm. how many kids and with how many women? Let's skip that one. Skipping that one, yeah. oh, okay. Uh, number five, what is your credit score? Next. Really? Um, what's your social security number? Okay. You don't have to have you stop because these are really personal questions and can we get to know each other a little bit first? Like something simple, maybe what's your favorite color? Well, I just need to make sure that you are not a criminal and you're not gonna kidnap me and I'm not gonna end up in a ditch somewhere. Okay, I'm not, I'm not a criminal, okay? It's just asking my credit score on a first date's a little intense, you know? You're probably right. I'm sorry. It's, it's okay. <laughs> it's just, um, so I, I actually talked to my shrink about this because it's been something I've been nervous about. And he said that the very best thing to do for a first date is just lay all the questions out, all the information, and that way you know if it's actually somebody that you want to like get into a relationship with. Right, so. right, all right. Um, you see a shrink? Yeah, um, I need to use the bathroom. I will be right back, okay? Okay. Hello? Maria, is Sophie with you? Uh, no. No, okay. Um, look, I really need a favor. Uh, I'm on my first date in a really long time and I would really appreciate it if somebody could get come down here and be on standby. Oh. Just in case things go wrong. Okay, you know? girl, I got you. You can? Ah, oh, you're amazing. 
Okay, I'm at the Spice House. Do you know where that is? I'll be right there. Yes? Awesome. Okay. All good. Good, good. Um, ooh. You guys are. Thank awesome. you. Awesome, perfect, thank you. You guys ready to order? Yeah, I think so. All right, what can I get for you? Okay. Um, I'd like to start with the living your best life. Good choice. And for you, sir? I will have a Corona, please. <laughs> All right, coming right up. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Mm. It's like two different sauces, like which one? Just trying to figure out how you get started with them and then dip it in what sauce, you know? Um, you mentioned you see a shrink? Yeah, uh, about that. Um, it, it's kind of a long story. I'm willing to listen. Come on, girls. I need you over there. You over there. Go, go. Come, come. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Hmm. Excuse me. Can you help me find something very appealing? Appealing? That's gonna take some time. I only have 10 minutes to get my models ready. Come. Help yourself in this section here. So I'm going to check you out when you find something appealing. You see, Teresa, you are enough. Enough? More than enough. Yes, sir. I want to see you again. Yes, sir. As soon as possible, actually. Sorry. <laughs> Did you find everything okay? Yes, actually, this is perfect. Oh, great. I can check yours as well. Right. Okay, you over there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Where's my assistant? Where's my makeup artist? Ah, oh, come. Did you find something appealing, yes. darling? Thank you for coming. Thank you. When are we home? I'll just call. I have to call you back. 
<laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. All right. Love you, Mom. Bye. <laughs> Don't tell me you love me like that. I hope I can get that someday, Gary. Sophie, hmm. did you enjoy your dinner? Do you still love me, Gary? Sophie, did you enjoy your dinner? Okay, okay. If you still love me, then why can't you tell me? And not only that, you told me you're not motivated anymore. I mean, I, I try to get you interested by wearing sexy lingerie. I start the romantic conversations, and all I get from you is nothing. I mean, what is going on with you? Quite frankly, if you don't get it together, I might just have to check out. Check out? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sophie. <laughs> Sophie. You might want to shut the hell up before you say something you regret. All that money getting you out of jail? I'm sick of this, Antonio. Your ass better call Tyrone. Hey, hey, come on, come on. Sick of this. No. Come on. Let's just talk about this. Been a rough week, I'll tell you that much. Ooh. Look, I ain't good at a one night stand, man. Oh, yeah. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think we get much choice either. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, hello. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> you okay, man? My wife. I don't want to go home. It's like I'm fighting a losing battle. It's always something like that. Last month, it was too much of this and not enough of that. Every two weeks, it was the sex chart posted above the bed. To grade me. <laughs> then on the 15th of every month, I have to deal with her hormone imbalance, which is set off by her emotional mood swings, which all come from her menstrual cycle. Not to go down memory lane, but it's one thing after another. <laughs> She's got me stressed out, man. Like, I went to the doctor today, and they told me I have anxiety. They want to put me on pills. Pills, man. That ain't cool. I didn't sign up for this. Just go home and get some rest, Gary. I just don't want to go home, man. Let's drink to that. Cheers. Bartender. <laughs> yeah, let's get another one. Let's, let's get ahead. another round.
I was hoping you could see me today. You just gonna walk in here, ain't you? <laughs> Aren't you gonna ask how Gary and I are doing? No. He couldn't tell me he loved me. I just asked right after he smiled happily and told his mom, I love you, before getting off the phone. It's his mom, <laughs> Sophie. He needs to say it to me with the same passion. I didn't think it would be just such a problem for him to just say it. He only says it when we're in bed. And now he says he's not motivated anymore. Well, you ever think the problem might be you? I mean, I know he doesn't like the sex chart posted on the wall, but the chart, the conversation, the lingerie, I try to spice it up, but he's still not motivated. I mean, what is my purpose? What is my purpose with this man? Well, this is your second marriage. No, third. It's been up and down. Well, then that's even more reason why you need to fight. How do you fight when your spouse doesn't even say I love you anymore or gets motivated? It's hard to stay faithful. I asked him if he's cheating on me, and he said, What are you talking about? He never gives me a straight answer, so I asked him again. Are you cheating on me? He said, are you? I said, how are you going to ask me when I just asked you and then you're going to ask me back? You're talking in circles and it doesn't make any sense. He's trying to play me. He's up to something. Something's going on. <sighs> <clears throat> he knows when he ticks me off, I stay ticked off for days. So if you ever think that you're self-centered, that it might be all about you, I never thought of that. Why would you assume that? Oh no, he didn't come home last night. I don't know how long he expects me to just sit around and wait for him to get motivated. I've tried everything. Eventually, I'm just gonna have to find someone who's already motivated. That's dangerous. Look, let's schedule you several appointments. Okay, okay. Several that are not today. Okay. Okay. How did she get in here?
My bad, girl. How you doing? I have an appointment to see Dr. Victor today. Hi. Your name? Sam Robinson. Dr. Victor, your appointment is here. Sam? Just have a seat. He'll be right out. Mm, thank you. You're a pretty sister. How you doing? You too. It's not over. It's two thirty already. Hey, come on back. Sophie paid for me to come see you today. So come sit. Thank you. How you been, Sam? Oh, so you remember me, huh? Of course. How could I forget? You uh talked about my mama. Oh, yeah, that's right about that. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's get straight to the point, shrimp. So, shrimp, I borrowed some money from my girlfriend to bail my man out of jail, right? They could never know about this. Anyway, my man at my house in the bed sleep. I goes through his wallet, find a number, call the number up, Come to find out he got a baby mama he never told me about. What should I do? What? Yeah. Can you believe uh -uh. that I didn't listen to a word you just said after you called me shrimp? Sweetheart, you got one more time calling me shrimp. And if you do, I can easily tell you that black and blue does not work for you. <laughs> you didn't have to go there. How about pink doesn't work for you? Anyway, back to what I was saying. If I confront him, we might get into a fight. And I don't want him to go to jail again. What should I do? I don't know, but I can tell you that I don't have the time or energy to deal with your problems today. And I'm not playing this duck, duck, goose chase with you, sweetheart. Not today. What? Sophie said you could help me. Are you for real? And to be honest, I think you're making a fool of you. No, I'm not. What type of doctor are you? You see, you like drama. You do. And I'm here for it. I told you, I keep it real. Here's my professional suggestion okay. that you should do. I think you should call him over. Sit him down. Right in front of you. Eye level. And then. I want you to call your girls over. Sneak them in the back. No, I'm serious. Okay. The back of the house. Let them come in and hide somewhere in the closet where can't nobody see them. And then, when he least expect it, I want you to have the girls jump out on them, tie them up, zip tie behind the waist. I'm talking about beat them down. Elbow, black eyes, give him the business. What the hell? Are you for real? I can't do that. Hey, hey, black eyes matter. You really want me to do that? I could go to jail for that. I can't believe you just said that. Listen, until you are ready to help yourself, it's not going to work out. It's just not. You got to be willing to change. Listen, you need to confess. Aren't you the main one who says, nobody's going to play me? I ain't going to settle for that. Well, until you confess what your situation is right now to you, it's not going to change. <sighs> hey! You can't smoke that in here. It's my office. It's a Why? business. Why? Unless it's the sticky icky. Stay handsome. Same. Another day in and another day out. Give me a beer. Baby, 
take your food to your room, okay? Wow, really? That's what we're doing now? Get me? We talked about how you talk. Give me the damn bee out of the refrigerator. Do you always have to open your mouth and debate everything when I'm talking to you? Just give me the damn bee. Don't you take your frustrations out on me. Our home is the only safe haven we have right now. Look at me. Look at me. Baby, I'm not the enemy. The home is where harmony is. You don't know what I have to go through every day in that courtroom. Or even in this world, as a matter of fact. Out there, I am a nobody. But baby, you're everything to us here. Excuse me, uh, you can't be in here. Only lawyers are supposed to be in here. No respect. I've been looked over. But in here, I am the man and you will respect me as that. Do you understand me? You understand me? Sit down. Please calm down and relax. Oh. I want you to let pressure to rise. Do you need the medicine no. that the doctor gave you to no. relax? No. No. My daddy went through the same thing. Now I understand what my mama went through. This anger, this inside just boils inside and it's unbearable. And the family has to suffer. I understand my daddy was in the circle of a famous boxer who served this country, but couldn't go downtown to have a drink to sit down and have something to eat. I get it. You're not the only one going through something. I know it's mental for you and for me. But you gotta help me to help you. I don't know what to do, but I do know how to be here for you. You just gotta let me, baby. You just gotta let me. Let go. Let God. God will not give us the spirit of fear. But power, love, and a sound. I love you too. Sorry.
Hmm. I can't believe the shrink. Want me to tie Antonio up? That's crazy. Beat him down. Elbow, black eyes, give him the business. What you mean? I'm always yelling you out. I'm doing everything. You ain't no king. Hit him, hit him, Sophie. He just blood me in my eye. You know what? Harder, harder, harder. Don't hit him. Good afternoon, Teresa. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I have an appointment today with Dr. Victor. Well, what happened to you? You look great. Well, thank you. Let me let the doctor know you're here. Thanks. Dr. Victor, your appointment is here. Wow, Teresa. Come on back. Wow, Teresa, you look really good after. It doesn't even matter. I'm just happy to see you. I'm even more happy that you made the appointment alone this time. Me too. Thank you so much. <laughs> Damn, Teresa, look at you. Whew. I am not fooling with you today. <laughs> Let's get started. Uh, you don't have to take notes. I'm ready. Say what? Well, okay. I'm listening. When did you decide that you were going to... Um... At this moment, nothing else matters. I'm all yours. No, now wait a minute, Therese. My papers say that after uh, 13 years of you being married. No, no. My intake papers say that after 13 years of you being married and ultimately it did fail, you were starting to deal with depression, you had anxiety. <laughs> He was depressed, but not anymore. Hello, Mr. Brandon. Hello there. I'm here to see my doctor. I brought him lunch. I'm sorry, dinner. He's with a patient. Well, I should be the only patient he sees this time of evening. Is there something he's hiding from me? He's with a patient. You don't have a scheduled appointment. You either wait as a walk-in or come back. No, you didn't. No, you didn't tell me to wait. I'm going in there. Stop, Mr. Brandon. You cannot go in there. Mr. Brandon. So, um... It's okay, Keisha Nova. I got this. What is going on in here? Who is she? Calm down, okay? You can't just walk into my office like this, man. What are you doing? Hold up, hold up. What are you doing? Uh, excuse me. I am the doctor. This is my office, and you are the patient, okay? And so is she. Now, you need to leave and make an appointment. Well, it don't look like she's a patient in need of help. <laughs> wow. Hold up. He's not your type. What's wrong with you? Go fish in another pond for a fish your type. Hold on, hold on, catfish nuggets. Okay, now you're the only one bringing tilapia vibes up in here. Now, be nicer to my patients. Brandon, you gotta leave. You gotta leave right now and make an appointment. I can't deal with this right uh now, sir. 
I brought you dinner. I thought we could talk and walk, sit and eat like we do in my therapy sessions. <laughs> Look at her. Cough again. Everybody, look left. Now look to the right. Teresa, blink five times. Brandon, like that shirt. I want you to roar like a cougar. Come on. No. That was a cat. Anyway, you need to get over yourself and choose. Choose what? what a... Choose. <sighs> Make an appointment for me next Tuesday at noon. I have some things to straighten out with the doc in there. I refuse to be played with. I'm sorry. No, don't be. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. I like girls. Man, I was thinking, man, you look vaguely familiar, man. I see you in church. Man, my girl try to keep me in church every Sunday. <laughs> Next time, just holler at me, man. Okay, okay. Hey, look, very impressed with what I heard earlier. You write all your own lyrics? Man, all of it, bro. Here's my demo, man. Man, that's you, man. Very impressed, very impressed. Hold on just a second. Hey, what's up, girl? Hey, David. What's up? Yeah. I was just checking out the new artist. Yeah, he's pretty tight. Then we're gonna bring him on to the team. I'll be there in 15 minutes. About 15 minutes? We can do lunch. See you in a little bit. Hey, Tom, listen, man. We really ain't got too much more to talk about. I like what you brought to the team. We'll meet back up and get everything signed up. Oh, man. Appreciate yeah, it, man. Welcome to the labor, bro. Mm -hmm. possibly lose out on the record deal, or just stay out of it. Okay, okay, okay. I'll wait till he signs my contract. Then I'll confront him. Let him know that either he tells my aunt, or I will. Hey, man. I need to borrow your car. 
I need to pick up some things I left at my old girlfriend's house. All right, later. This was amazing. You look amazing. Oh, boy, thank you. And you are very handsome yourself. I appreciate that. Wow, I mean, dinner and dessert. Wow, you've outdone yourself. Did you make all this yourself? I'm using my mama recipe. Wow. You know, a girl could kind of get used to this treatment, you know? And you should. I ain't going nowhere. You don't know where for me. You okay? Um, yeah, um, I just thought I saw something out of the window. It's probably just a cat or something. Um, nothing. I'm, it's just a little strange. I hope you enjoyed your dinner. I think somebody is outside your window. Are you serious? I'm going on out there. Oh. I went there. But look, I gotta head back to the studio. You be good, okay? Okay. Be a good girl. Oh. What are you doing out here? This is a nice neighborhood. What are you doing? Are you stalking me? You know what? what? That was you at the window. I knew I saw you. And your boyfriend's seeing another woman. Don't make me take out a restraining order on you, Thomas. I'm not above that, you know. What do you leave my house? And I just don't want to see you get hurt. You just don't want to see me with another man. Yes, that's true, but you gotta believe me. Oh.
Come in. Hey, Pastor. I've missed you. We still have time to uh, Hello, Sister Cassandra. Can I help you with something? Okay. Be blessed. She was kind of close up on you, wasn't she? This is not the first time. Is something going on? Are you accusing me of something? I'm just asking. You are the first lady. Stay the first lady. You bet I will. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we do thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercy. We ask you to be with us today and bless us as only you can. We ask these things now in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Let everyone say amen. amen. Today, my pastor in training will bring the word of God to us. I'm going to ask everyone to please stand to your feet and let us receive him warmly as he comes. Come on, let's give the Lord some praise. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. Please be seated, church. Our sermon today is Is anyone holy? We are all a work in progress. I ask for forgiveness today. I ask God to help me fight this battle. The flesh is weak, but the truth will set you free. Isaiah said, all flesh is grass. <clears throat> we ask for godliness and we pray for forgiveness. So if you're hurting or carrying a wound that you cannot bear, forgive. Forgiveness is for you, not the other person, but for you. Amen? I would like to invite my beautiful wife to close us out with one of her beautiful songs. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Good morning, church. Good morning. To what my husband just said from the book of Isaiah, all flesh is grass. We all must learn to forgive. Amen. So on this beautiful Sunday, let us adjourn while my husband gives the benediction. Amen. I didn't know you attend this church. Yeah, I've been coming here for a little while. Now ain't good time. No time I'll be with you later on. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna call you later on, okay? Amen. Amen. May the Lord watch over me and thee while we're absent from one another. Amen. We just take care of this baby, right? Hey, baby. Hey. Hey, I see you hey. met my ex. This is Tom. I think. I know Tom. I think he's stalking me. <laughs> so, David, who hey. is this? Oh, hi, I'm Anne. That's, this is Ann. Ann. 
This is Esther. Who is Anne? Can we talk about really, it now? David? Who is Esther? Can we? Hello? You can talk to me about it later on, okay? I really want to take care of this business. I'm going to give you a call later on, okay? I don't need you, David. Okay, can we do it? Hello? Yes, how are you? I know you've been faithful in paying your offering, and I would like to give you a promotion. Yes, yes. Can you meet uh, tomorrow for tea in the church office? Yes, okay. See you tomorrow, 3 p.m. I'm gonna tell him, I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna come in here three days having me wait and look like a fool. Here, you can stare at this ugly picture. Oh, where you been? Oh, well, let me tell you something. Answer your phone. <sighs> oh, you you don't you want to break up? <laughs> Baby, I'm so sorry I said those things to you. I just want you to please come home. Gary? Gary? Where were you and why didn't you answer your phone? Uh, Gary, you stayed all, uh, all night. I'm sorry. I Please don't, don't leave me. Don't scare me like that. I promise I'll be more considerate, okay? Let's have a seat, eat something. I cooked for you. I cooked. Hmm. What is it? It's a pasta, souffle, casserole with special sauce and vegetables. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
It's potluck. Well, it's a special recipe, but I did get some fancy wine. Yeah, you got a lot of it, too. You did stay out all night. I'm sorry. I may have been emasculating with the bedroom stuff. You know, we can work that out. I am sorry. Gary, I love you. I'm stressed out. You know I've been out drinking. I've been stressed out this whole time. You know, I got diagnosed with anxiety. Look, I love you, but I can't be this stressed. I'm sorry. I love you. I, I'm gonna work on my communication, and I don't want you to be stressed out, okay? But I was worried and pissed, but worried. At the end of the day, I love you so much. I'm, I'm sorry, I know how I can get sometimes. Well, we should make a toast. What should we toast to? Our marriage. Wait. Welcome to Assisted Living. How may I help you? Um, hello, can you tell me if Mr. Curtis Sanchez is here? May I ask who you are? Long lost relative. Is he here? I can check that out for you. May I see your ID, please? Maria Sanchez. One moment, I'll be right back. Thank you. Down to your left, Mr. Sanchez is in room 101. Okay, thank you. Maria? Is that you? Is that all you have to say? I don't know if, if I should strangle you or if I should shoot you. After mom died, you were all I had. You turned your back on me. Why? Why, dad? Even after I told you what Uncle Bill was doing to me, you didn't believe me. 
you couldn't believe me because because you didn't want to be bothered. So you just sent me off to the foster home. <laughs> Did you even try to find me? Did you even think of me? About an hour ago, I hated you. I hated you. And I was gonna get you back. I was gonna do something. Is everything okay, Mr. Sanchez? Sunday, the preacher was preaching about forgiveness. And he said that forgiveness is not just for the other person, but it's for you. So I forgive you for me. I forgive you, Dad. Come in. 
Hello, First Lady. How are you, Ms. Cassandra? Have a seat. Tea? Sure. Come clean. I realize that things are not normal between you and my husband. I'm good, Pastor. What do you mean? You know, rumors going around, and you've been visiting the office. I mean, I'm good. Are you sure? Do you have a man? If not, there are plenty of single brothers in the church who only want a faithful wife. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I grew up in the south side of Chicago. I wasn't always safe. Still not completely transformed yet. So if you don't want to confess, it's okay. Because I might show up at your front door. So you do right, okay? Now, there are plenty of young men in the church. And you pray to God you get your own. He'll bring it to you in due season. And remember, you always reap what you sow. So you go on now. And you be blessed. something to drink and tip our weight down. I'm Harold, Big Daddy Sam. I want to give a shout out to my beautiful queen over here. Give her a round of applause. Right. Without further ado, let's get into the show with our first comedian, Mr. Malachi Black. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Sam, this way you've been at, huh? Antonio, really? Now you're following me? Man, what's all of this? This where you been up to? Man, you packed all my stuff, took it to my mama's house, you're not even answering the phone, man. What's going on? Look, I'm done. What you mean you done? Oh, you ain't know I knew about the baby mama, right? Oh, baby mama? What you talking about? I'm done. Man, what, what's going on here, man? I think it's clear what's going on here. And who is this? My new king. Your king? I'm Harold. And you must be Antonio, I assume. So it's like that, huh? Look, look, Antonio, I didn't mean for you to find out this way. But yes, this is the way it is. It's over. Man, listen, come on, let's, let's go talk outside real quick, come on. Yo, whatever you want to say to my queen, you can say it in front of me. Ain't nobody was even talking to me, bro. Come on, let's go outside. Yo, back hold up, Cliff. Don't come close to her, <laughs> man. Get up on her like that. Don't touch her. Don't even think about her. Or else I'm going to have to come and find you. So it's like that. Yes. Listen, Antonio, it's life changing for me too. It's over. It's all good, baby. So call me your queen again. My queen. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, get out of here. I just want to say one thing. I want to know this. Hulu is not a bitch. <laughs> I see y'all eyeballing me. Yes, that's Tom. Yeah, we're back together. Oh, he has a job. And oh, guess what? Not just a job, he has a recording contract! And for that reason, 
reason, yes, I let him move back in the house. So, so can we toast to Tom's success? Yes, his new record contract. And I would like to make a toast to being one year sober. Yay! Yay. Cheers, Cheers to sisters. Sisters. Ma, got you two gift cards. Can't hit nail spa. Well, you got two feet, right? Two gift cards. <laughs> I'm just playing my. I did have lunch though, some greens. Dr. Victor. Dr. Victor! Son of a. Ma, I gotta go. Dr. Victor? Mm -hmm. 